In this video, we're going over how to set up the Fitbit Versa 2. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the cool tech that's coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the little bell next to it to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. We're gonna walk you through how to set up the new Fitbit Versa 2. Now, just as a point of reference, you will need a smartphone or a tablet to set this up. Um, as far as I know, you cannot set it up without a smart device. So the first thing you'll wanna do on your device is go to the App Store if you have an iPhone or go to the Play Store if you have an Android phone and do a search for Fitbit and download this app right here. Once this is downloaded, you're gonna tap on Open and it will take you to the app. Now, if you're a first time Fitbit user, you will need to set up a Fitbit account. If you already have had a Fitbit in the past, you'll simply sign into your account and it should take you to um, a screen that will ask you to pair the device. Now, I already have a Fitbit account, so this is the screen it's taking me to. So for an existing user, you would tap on the profile icon in the upper left corner and then come down to devices and tap on set up a device. And now we're just gonna tap the little button and you'll wanna tell it what device you're trying to set up. So we're setting up a Versa 2 and we're gonna tap switch to Versa 2. And now it's gonna send an alert after we accept the terms. So you will also need to link up the charger for the Fitbit Versa as well. That is part of the pairing process that's gonna allow it to link with the phone. We have our charger right here. You're gonna take the Fitbit and just link it right in just like that. Hit the next button and it will begin to search for the Fitbit and it found it nice and quick. You'll see a four digit number that you'll type in on the screen. You'll see the green check to show confirmation that it has linked together. And now it tells you connect to Wi-Fi so we can download the latest update for your Versa 2. We'll hit next. and give it a second to basically link up to your Wi-Fi network. Once it does link up to your Wi-Fi, it will begin the download. All right, after about 20 minutes, our software has updated and we're seeing our little check here telling us we're done. And if we unplug this, we can see we're now at a setup screen on our new Fitbit Versa 2. And I've got some quick tips, so we'll go ahead and hit that. We do have a little shortcut by pressing down on the power button here. So press and hold button to access preset shortcut, change shortcut for left button. So tap that. So in the settings, you can change what that button does. So you can have it where holding down on that will either launch Alexa or your Fitbit Pay. I'm gonna keep it on Alexa for now. So press and hold left to activate. Hit save. Uh, swipe down display to see all your features. Got it. Use this power move to access your shortcut anytime. Notifications are from the top, of course. We've got some options as well. Our music, our Fitbit Pay and our settings. So we've got some new controls there. So we'll make sure we have a full video on how to use that. And use this move from anywhere to bring up control center notifications. That's the swipe down, swipe up to see all the stats. So I'll swipe from the top. And here we are, we're fully set up and ready to use our Fitbit Versa 2. So again, swiping down here, we have our shortcut to music, our Fitbit Pay, and our settings right there. Our quick settings, so there's that. And then swiping up will take you to all your normal Fitbit stats. 
We will leave it here and we'll do a more in-depth video on how to use the Fitbit Versa 2 in the software. But hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and have a good one.